you, the audience, and we're going to turn them into different kids and games. And I need some help from you to start with. We need to do a little bit of practice, because the first thing that we're going to do requires a lot of audience participation. Because these wonderful people are going to tell a story. And when they make a mistake, or they say the wrong word, or they stumble a little bit, you need to kill them. And how you do this is to yell, die. So let's practice. One, two, three. Die! They're going to live through that. Come on. One, two, three. Die! Right. Put the spirit to them. They make this painful. And what I need from you to start with, let's get you used to this whole lot. I need a name, please. Just a first name. Yeah. Ed. And I need an occupation. Dentist. Ed's the dentist. And I need a geographic location, please. Australia. Ed's the dentist in Australia. We bring you the story of Ed, the dentist from Australia. It was a hot, hot, hot day in Australia, and Ed was off in the outback with his bag full of dental. He was looking for kangaroos who needed dental work. And you found one in inside a kookaburra. The kookaburra was so incredibly full of cavities that Ed could not believe. His eyes. So he reached into his pocket and he pulled out a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Be because the Tyrannosaurus Rex was just what he was thinking of at the time. And so, <laughs> and so he decided that the Tyrannosaurus next, next greeted. <laughs> Escape prisoner. Prisoner movies? 
We need like a genre, all right? Mini like, series. Mini series, great. PBS Playhouse. Great, PBS Playhouse. TV soap opera. TV soap. Sitcom. Sitcom. Led Zeppelin guy. Horror movies. Horror movies. MTV. Spy movies. We got spy movies back here. Spy movies. What was that about injury? Documentary. 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 Injury. Oh, documentary. Mental film. Fishing. Fishing shows. Biography. Fishing shows. The Olympics. The Olympics. The news. The news. The news. Horrific real life tragedy. Horrific oh, real life tragedy. X movies. Rated X. Cooking shows. X movies. Cooking shows. Cooking shows. Cooking shows. Cooking shows. Kansas. We're in Kansas? Lawrence. Lawrence, Kansas. Okay, now we have John and Carol. I'm going to show you amazing things that can happen in Lawrence, Kansas. Tonight. 
And your name? Yo, Carnisha LaCroix is my name. Figure rapping is my game. Oh, Kelly. And you, sir? My name is Clarence Thompson. I, I like to ride on trains. <laughs> I, I like it. And this woman right over here? My name is Eloise Lundquist. Eloise. Peace. I'm Eloise. <laughs> and the final poet of the evening. All right, Miss Solomon Leaves. Solomon Leaves! Yes, indeed. <laughs> now, tonight, as is our custom, as is our want, for these Scrimsbury poetaries, we take a theme for the poet. Tonight, let me hear a theme extemporaneously from the author. Any theme at all. <laughs> Supernatural. Uh, Supernatural. Very good. Our first poem for the night from Tarnish. Thank you. Yo! Hey, I got a rap for y'all, but I need your help, all right? You ready? This is what I want you to do. Ready? Fade away. And I 
sat there looking out the window till day. The end. participation kind of a theater. What kind of a foreign movie would you like to see? Perhaps some particular director would be of interest to you. Bergman. Pardon? Bergman. Bergman. Oh, Bergman, that Swedish guy. He's pretty good. And the title of this film? What's the title of the film you'd like to see? Death. Death? Oh, death. Yeah. That was his masterpiece. It's unbelievable. Really? Death by Ingmar. But let me tell you, it is normally a practice here at the Prattle to have nothing but the, the subtitled prints so that you can hear every nuance of the original actor's performance. But tonight, the distributors, you know, they, they did a boo-boo. And we have tonight for you, I'm sorry, it's a dubbed print of death. But I know you're going to really enjoy this movie anyway. So now, without further ado, Death by Ingmar Bergman. I cry, I sob, 
I am partly broken for you. Oh. 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 Your face is still like the morning dog. Tick, 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 tick of the clock. I heard you, you, you. Oh, it's for you. I have the time to bring you into my heart, my husband, my lord, my savior. Your love. Ooh, your love, it did bring me back to you. Darling! Oh, yes, my love for you. When you touch me so special surprise for you tonight. We have an expert here tonight. And this is a very, very special one-time only kind of thing. This expert is going to answer your questions, all your questions, or just about most of them, on the topic of your choosing. So what we need to know is what you'd really like to learn from the expert tonight. Bubblegum. Bubblegum. Oh, I've always wanted to learn about bubblegum. That's an excellent topic. All right. Well. Expert, we're going to take some questions from the audience. Questions about bubblegum. Who would like to know something about bubblegum? Anything at all? History. What happens when it gets stuck between your teeth? Excellent question. Expert, what happens to bubblegum when it gets stuck between your teeth? Mm, well, it really is quite unusual. When Flavor. 
has disappeared over many nights. Once it goes to your head, it slides into oblivion. <laughs> wow. Wow. And, and what happens when it gets to the flavor dissolves in your well, the expert has a mind of his own, so we have to trust him on that. We're going to take one more question on bubblegum. What's the best way to get it out of your hair? Oh, for years we've been searching this answer. What is the best way, expert, to get bubblegum out of your hair? A reasonable solution is to cut it right out with a bear. Um, <laughs> so, the expert is practical mind. Well, thank you very much. Our expert will uh, expound on many topics, so keep your eyes out for our expert. Hi, Barbie. 
what to say. Is it you? If he does, every I'm Tuesday, not every Tuesday, I, I come shopping. I come looking for you every time. I shop on Wednesdays, and from now Wednesdays? on, not on Tuesdays. Okay, that's what I'll do. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yes, whatever you want. I never even went out for football. 
But we did play touch football at home. My major and probably only memory of football is a touch football game in which I was tackled by my sister. Now this is touch football, but she tackled me anyway. There was this clicking sound, and it was my right collarbone. But hey, it's a really good game, and it's very important that that athletic activity gets taken care of. Anyway, I'm going to have my average We are the champions, my friend. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. We keep on trying. Good game, huh? Ah, well, you look great out there. Victory is 
me just turn this part on first. The automatic buffer to keep a clear picture on your screen. And let's do this part here. And here. This supplies a full supply of cold beer across here and then up into the mouth. Now let's see what's over here. You need something to get the brain going. Uh, here and here. Uh, uh, now let's see the machine uh, in full cycle a little faster. This for those marathon sessions. For all you football buffs out there, it's only 99.95. And for an extra 295, you get the Gin Tonight free. Thank you.
Let me do prosthetics. Okay. 